In this video, we're gonna work with oil pastels and I'm gonna teach you several different techniques that will help you become more successful when you're working with oil pastels. The first thing is to make sure that you use thick, acid-free paper. We're going to be creating something similar to this, where you have all your blocks of... I have already laid my paper out and prepared it with the different techniques that I'm going to have on this first page. And I'm just using these really cheap student quality oil pastels um, just because they're what I've got at home, but they're made by Crepa. So they're, they're perfect for this just demonstration type and practicing type of skill, but you can definitely spend more money on the, the nicer oil pastels if you want. So this first technique is layering. And so I always recommend taking colors that are more analogous, uh, more of an analogous color scheme because they blend and they mix well together and they look nicer together. These would be more analogous. You have your yellow, orange, orange, and then there's a red, orange, and a red. So those four colors are what I'm gonna use for this layering, the layered values, and this graffito. Most of them I'm gonna be using these, but that's what I recommend. So choose an analogous color scheme to start with. Start with your, your lightest color, tear off. What I did is I broke it in half and I just tore off the paper and I just took it off like that. Um, but your first layer always needs to be very light like this right here. And then once you once you use the side of it and just get the color on there, then you would use your next color, which is the orange, so yellow orange to orange. And I'm just I'm not pressing down very hard. Light pressure. And I'm gonna go both ways. Okay, just so I can get good coverage. Or you can go in a circular. If you want to go circular you can do that so I'm just getting that color on there the next color would be my orange color and I'm just gonna add that on top here not still not pressing down very hard you really don't need to press down hard enough to break your pastel if you press if you're breaking your pastels you're pressing down a little bit too hard okay. so you can see the coverage is starting to happen since this paper, it's a multimedia, but it's got some tooth to it for watercolor. Um, so you can see that it is not quite covering those areas, but it will, I promise. Go over it with my red. And then with oil pastel, you do a lot of blending. And I like to just use my finger. Some people like to use blending nubs, but I, I don't like to use those for this because it ruins them. You can clean them off with a, um, you can clean off the tip of the blending nub with sandpaper, but I like to reserve those for just charcoal and pencil. But you see what I'm doing here? I'm just smearing. You can also do this with, with um, bounty paper towels, but I think it pulls more of the pigment off. So I like to just use my finger. Now, if you're in a warm climate, like we are, we're in Oklahoma, and it's fairly warm here. Of course, today it's not, but it's fairly warm. The oil in the oil pastels flows better in the warmer climates. I'm going back over it with a little bit of red. Okay, so do my layering. So that's how you would do layering. Pretty simple, right? You start with your lightest color and you move on to your darker color, okay? So then the layered values is the same thing. I'm gonna go in with my lighter color first and then go move on to the red orange. An orange color here. And then I've got an orange here. And then my red on top. And it's, so it's the same exact thing that you saw me do with the layering, right? 
same thing. So just start off like this. Go ahead and blend it in. And then what you want to do is neutralize your color with the layered values. You want to start with a neutralization of your color. How do you neutralize a color? You add brown, okay? Um, because, or the opposite color on the color wheel, really. But really, a brown is a great way to neutralize anything. So I'm gonna come in here instead of a black. I don't recommend black. I'm gonna come in here and just add a little brown on top of that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of this red I had before. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that red to it. And sometimes you'll get little chunks. I just take the chunks and push them right on in. And then I'm just gonna blend that a little bit. But black, what I was saying before, is black is a little bit too stark sometimes. You can use black, but it's not my favorite. I always try to grab a brown to neutralize. So there's that. Um, sometimes you'll see little areas that didn't take. You can go in and kind of add a little bit. Or if you rub too hard, sometimes it pulls to oil pastel. But that is how you create your values. And then I can go in. When I taught elementary school, we called white magic white. So this is our magic white. If you come in, don't do white underneath. Never do white underneath. You always want to come in with your white on top. And then you're just blending. Just make sure you don't have too much brown. I've got a little chunk of brown on my finger. So if that happens, you want to take a paper towel and just wipe that off. Because whatever's on your fingers is going to get on there, you know. So check and make sure I'm just going to wipe that off. And then I'm just going to come in like this. Now there are some there are some really cool textures in there. You could keep that texture. Um, it would be a great way to do like a sandy beach. But for right now, I'm just doing like a value blend for you. See, just a value layer blend. So that's how you would do that. Scraffito is the same way. So I prepared this Scraffito area just like I did with the layered values and the layering and all I'm doing now is taking the end of this paintbrush and you could use a paper clip, you could use all kinds of different things. I would not recommend using your pencil um, because otherwise you'll leave lead on there. But you can just go in and just draw on there. So I could see going in and creating all kinds of fine intricate areas, design areas or making your drawing more realistic looking. Um, because with oil pastels, you really have a hard time creating realistic artwork, but if you go in with Scraffito afterwards, you can add a lot of those intricate details that you would be missing with the large fat end of an oil pastel. For this oil technique, I decided to change it up and use a dark blue, this dark blue, and this light blue together. I'm just going to layer them in there. And I'm, I just have a little bit of oil in here, a regular paintbrush, clean paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is just take that oil and I'm going to paint it. So what it's doing is it's breaking up that pigment and dissolving it a little bit. And what I'm able to do is paint with it. So I'm pulling, see how it's pulling that lighter blue? I've got a little chunk right there that I'm kind of playing with. <laughs> but it's going to take that, I'm going to add a little bit more oil, um, pigment and kind of break it up and pull it out. And so I could use this to create some lighter blues. Do you see that? So it's just dissolving it a little bit. Um, of course, oil pastels are made with oil, so adding the oil is not going to ruin it. But I could definitely move it around, blend it, mix it, create some lighter values like this if I wanted to. Okay? What it will do, it's not archival. Um, in other words, it's not going to be good to use on a piece of artwork that is going to be 
um, displayed in a gallery that's going to be something that you want to keep forever um, because it will break down and start to dry and maybe chunk off but you could definitely use other oils like linseed oil mineral spirits things like that so you could experiment with some of those if you want to but for this particular purpose we can play around with just regular baby oil to see how it works I keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are I still think of you, I want you coming back I remember when we were staring photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are I still think of you, I want you first techniques were helpful. In our second video, we'll learn stippling, etching, and impressionistic blending with the magic white. And then after that, you'll have all the techniques you need to create a really successful drawing with oil pastels.